Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and this giving up is CG, your baby girl CG. So I'm going to do a story time with you guys. I asked you guys to vote on the topic um, on the video to upload first and you guys voted for this, how I slept. I slept at an army checkpoint. If you haven't subscribed, please vote to hit the subscribe button now. Please sit tight and enjoy. I'm not really good at storytelling. I hope I carry you guys along and I hope it's going to be engaging. Okay, guys, this whole wahala, this whole army checkpoint, sleeping and all of that happened during one Valentine period like that. My friends and I were so tired, we're devastated, we're overwhelmed with school work. We needed to take a break from school work, so we decided to plan a trip, a girl's trip to Inugu. And you know, Valentine is when lovers will start pressurizing people or preparing people oh my friend got me this we didn't want to experience such thing we didn't want to experience i did not want to experience single syndrome because you know single syndrome no, you probably won't know about single syndrome single syndrome is that syndrome that gives you malaria signs and symptoms you start feeling feverish and all of that i, mean, I didn't want to explain that so i had to excuse myself from such pretty comments because <laughs> i wasn't dating anybody i know i won't get any gifts so we planned a trip to Enigo, we made arrangements, reservation for our hotel, where we would sleep, we made a list of places to visit in Enigo. Lasted for like three days. First few days, we were amazing. I was so happy. It was so, it was refreshing. You know what I mean? Like water, cold water just pour on your body. That was the feeling. Like I'm not reading. I'm out of school. Like I'm enjoying myself. Like I'm eating what I want to eat. I'm going to places I want to visit. Like you get. That was the feeling I got in the first few days because we went to cinema, we went to watch movies, we went to swimming pool, we swam. We also went to um museum in um in Enugu. By the way, Enugu is a very beautiful city. You should visit there. The a very very beautiful city to to relax. Yeah, to relax. Hmm. Not until the third day, we got an invitation to one live band in Enugu one at one venue like that. We're like, oh, okay, let us go for this live band. What's the worst that can happen? We all dressed up with our sexy clothes, our fine clothes, by the way. So looking all pink and all of that. We booked our ride to the venue. We got there. When I got there, the whole appearance, the whole de design, the decor. I wish I have a picture. I'll just put it on the screen. Like the whole environment was cozy. It was it was beautiful. Like I don't know what's what it was. It was captivating yeah it was captivating i was like i was like wow there's just such a place in Enugu. i'm so coming back to this city that's what i felt that's how i felt i'm like okay let us let us dance so they're dancing vibing to the songs it won't do karaoke you guys though beside me i don't even know how to sing i was just singing you <laughs> um i was just singing i don't have a good voice i was just singing dancing vibing to the songs as well as my friends we're all into the music we're not time conscious not until we're all tired of their enjoyment so to leave the whole venue, the live band venue. We didn't see any keke, we didn't see any cab, we didn't see any car tags to take us back to our location, back to the hotel. So we decided to trek. We are trekking on the street of Enugu, you can imagine. We trek on the street of Enugu. Anyways, found and fortunately for us, we found a keke guy. Yeah, a keke guy. We asked him who was willing to take us to our um, to our hotel. So we asked him if he knew the name um, the hotel. We entered the keke nape, or we asked the keke nape if he knew the direction. He said yes, he knew the direction. We all entered, thinking that the guy knew where he was taking us to. Ah, we just noticed that the journey was just getting too long. Ah, like what's happening here? Okay, we passed. We're just moving, 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 moving. We passed the first checkpoint. I know that checkpoint. That's where you know they are about entering a different location, a different city. We're like, okay. We felt we we're like, okay, maybe the whole thing was just suspicious to us. We just we're just moving like that. We passed the second checkpoint. Ah, ah. Only for us to see goodbye from Enugu. We started panicking. We started shouting. Okay, turn back. Why are you taking us to that? What's happening here? Turn back now. Thankfully, he listened to us and he turned back. So we got to the um the second checkpoint. Because of the whole uncoordinated movement and all of that, he asked us to come down from the Kekena um, Pe. So I asked no questions like, where are you coming from? What's your name? How old are you guys? Are you guys students? And where are you? All this kind of question. Where are you coming um, out and all of that? Ah, Besides answering the questions, they even asked us if our parents were aware. My parents were not aware of the whole um, outing. I took permission from my other brother, so I needed the break, you guys. Asked our state of origin. I was like, me, I'm from Oshun State. So that's how they linked me up with one other Oshun State soldier. The man started speaking, you're interacting with Yoruba, saying, What is wrong with you? Why did you come out like this? Don't be influenced by your friends. So in Yoruba, I can't speak Yoruba, so that's what I'm inter interpreting. You're like this and that. Read your books. There's time for everything. But just giving me good advice and all of that. Then all of a sudden, one of the, one of that soldier was 
uh, misbehaving i think i don't know what i think it was stressed or so said pissing us off said saying nonsense called us stupid names we're not having it with him anyway that whole phase passed and we're like okay they recommended one motel to us to book or so we're like no so i don't worry we don't want to stay we'll stay here with you guys we'll stay in this um checkpoint with you guys so like okay didn't give us didn't go find each other they allow us to sit because they're just killing us there we're freezing it was such a scary experience for us we we're so scared we're like what if there is just should just come now we just start hearing gunshot and all of that we're not just having we're just scared so it was a terrible experience for us anyway sure we stayed there for hours like we left um that whole we, we left that whole um vicinity um around the um, 4 a.m or be 5 a.m where they now called one um keke and a pair guys take us to our location thankfully we got back home safe and sound the ocean state social asked for my number gave me my number that's why they started narrating to me that how they would have done nonsense to us all of that and thankfully that not all of them were in support of it ah what would i tell my friend that such a thing happened to me this and that sure we're so thankful we're so grateful to god that nothing happened we left there safe sound on touch and all of that we got back to the hotel thank this is the kind of the direction anyways thank god we slept we slept she told ourselves that we're never going to tell this story to anybody because Ah, it was it was not it was not a pleasant story to tell so anyways yeah i hope you guys learned from this please do have to tell someone about your movement don't move at nine don't leave a particular place at an ungodly time always dress well present yourself in a good manner because the way you dress is how the um the way that the way you dress is how people will interact with you or see you so hope you guys enjoyed this video please do also like share and what subscribe